Matt Sarah BJJ on uh, on uh, Facebook. No, no, that's not no, Facebook. No, what's the other one? Instagram. Oh, Instagram. Yeah, Matt I don't Sarah have Instagram. BJJ. Get with the time, man. You know why? Because you can't blow up pictures. I, I'm on my phone. I can't blow up. Well, then whack, whack off to some other pictures. All right, you sick fuck. You can't blow up the pitches, all right? I'm trying to keep see, this family I'm trying friendly. To see the chicks I can't I'm make like, them bigger. I'm like, I can't make them. You like that monkey with the clapper? <laughs> <laughs> this is going south. Welcome to MMA Noise. I'm Mike Strzok, your host, along with Matthew the Terra, Sarah, former thank you welterweight UFC champion of the world. Talk about it. You know, when you started MMA, that was back in 2000, I believe. Maybe 1999. 2001 is when I had my first UFC fight. Right. From where it was then to where it is today. Yeah. Can you even put it into words? No, man. It's insane. Like, you know, when I for every fight I'd have, I wasn't fighting for the money because I wasn't making much at all. And uh, I was fighting for the experience because I love to do it. And every time I fought, I'm like, all right, this might be the last one because who knows where the... The, the, the curtain falls on this on this whole MMA thing because that's how it was, man. It wasn't legal in many states. And uh, I remember, man, 2001, I used to fight in Vegas and come home, and tell my buddies. City. Yeah, tell my buddies, like, hey, man, I signed some autographs this week. And you feel like a star for a, a week because that's where all the hardcore people went. And then you come home and nobody knows you, you know it's what I mean? It's so true. And it's such a big difference compared to, uh, uh, the big difference was obviously the ultimate fighter, especially for myself. I mean, after being on tough, and if they're winning tough, and uh, stuff like that, it's just you know. Then you get recognized everywhere, and next thing you know, like I'm all, I'm anywhere, like not only in the country, like I'd be in Australia, and people will know my name. I'm in, in Manchester, England, and people know my name. That's that. That's pretty trippy, to yeah. be honest with you. I was a fourth degree black belt in Kempo Karate when I was 11. That shows you how, how, how what McDojo I was at. <laughs> I swear, <laughs> if you bring up the time that you spot Frankie Edgar, I will jump out this fucking window. And you're there again, there's cameras, they'll see it. Oh, did All you, right, you, you sparred with Frankie you Edgar. Still on that? I said, I held my own with Frankie. And he, he got wait, wait, hold on, he got all offended. He goes, he goes, sparring. Sparring is different than fighting. No, 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 no. Wait, sparring. Hold on. I, I remember hold the whole. On. I have it on tape. Hold I have on. it on. I want to VHS tape. You never once said you held your own with Frankie. No, I didn't. I didn't say. You're joking. I'm joking. But my point is, you were like sparring. Did you always say he held his own? All I said was I sparred with Frankie Edgar and and with Chris Liguori. It's all I said. And you go, Straka, sparring is different than fighting. Don't don't get ahead of yourself. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be name dropping that you sparred. I wasn't. You just brought it up. I was talking to you in private in the hallway. No, no, I studio. don't think so. Walking I don't think so. Yeah, you brought it up in the interview, just like you brought up my lips when I was walking down the hallway, and you go, Straka, you look taller. I said I'm wearing lips. And he brings height. it up in the interview. Do you it wear lips beautiful. anymore? No, I don't. You left Fox. No? I don't. No, no more lips. You should be proud. I am proud of being five six. You're my height, dude. You're like that Seinfeld episode where they sh that, that they shame that little midget. It's not politically correct. <laughs> that dwarf. No, what dwarf is what are called? Little little, pe little people. I don't think little people is very nice. Let's just call them people. I don't think little people sounds better. I mean, if Peter Diglish was here, you wouldn't be saying any of that shit. Oh, dude, I'm so into Game of Thrones. You like Game of Thrones? Yeah, of course. Who doesn't? I read, like I read all the books. I'm such a nerd. Who? So happy that Jon Snow came back. Now, see, I read. Aha! Whoever missed that, too bad. Eat it. Eat it. <laughs> Eat it. Eat a dick. Um, exactly. Hey, dude, this might be kids watching this. Okay. Is it, how, what does it come to when I'm cleaning up the, the language? How's, how's being a father? How, how's traveling? I mean, how do you balance being a husband, a father, and a, and a celebrity? Yeah, you know. I know, you, <laughs> I know you hate that word. I always laugh when you say celebrity. The, uh, listen, the traveling, you know, that takes a toll. You got kids. You know what I mean? But, you know, you know, I make it up when I'm home. I'm with them a lot. So that's good. And there's nothing better than being a father. You know that. Do you miss fighting? You know, you, you miss that feeling of, of, of walking to the cage, and, and yeah, you yeah, I say I'd say I miss it, but because uh, there's no other feeling in the world like uh, the feeling of, of, of victory. You know what I mean? In that in, in the octagon, like especially when you put somebody away, and uh, oh, it's glorious, and and it's addicting, and it's why guys stick around too long, and I understand 100% why guys want to stay out, stay too right. long. And then when they're done, they don't, they need to find that high, and then sometimes they do the wrong thing right. and and whatnot. So, you know, I stayed busy. I knew I knew my time to move on. Did it help though that you set yourself up? You took some of those fight bonuses you got with Matt Hughes, Frank Trigg. You bought yourself a new school. You paid for your house. I mean, things that that you did smart with your money. Does that help you 
be able to walk away at the time you did? Yeah, because like financially, you know, people think I got fu money, which I don't have. Of course not. Nobody. But uh, <laughs> yeah, so it's funny, man. They see you on TV. They see you fight. They see my schools. I'm like, yeah, you know the rent on this one. So I mean, yeah, I, I yeah, I got nice schools, and uh, I've been teaching as long as I've been fighting. So I always did that hand in hand. And it was never something that I'd have to fall back on because I've always felt that I'd be doing it regardless. That's what I do. That's, I, I enjoy teaching uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I enjoy working with my fighters. Somehow, after all this time, even six years after I'm done fighting, yeah, I'm still relevant somehow. That's wild, man. Fuck you. Oh, it's wild. This is the fuck. Dude, is that the killer in the coffee this, getting to you? No, fight. You're you, coming down to fuck you to your guest? You. Are you out of your you mind? Bring it up. He's never let me live this down. I, I no. made a joke that went over like a lead fart one day. Bad. I mean, it went over like a lead fart. I, I took the microphone in a press conference. It was a. It was a, your uh, energy drink. I'm not I even gonna. Science. I'm not even gonna say what I said at the press conference. All I'm gonna tell you. All I'm gonna say it was it was bad. And Longo, I see Longo walking down the hallway. Ray Longo, his coach. And he, Longo stops me and goes, Straka, what the fuck was that? And I go, what? I go, I don't even know what, you're, what he's talking about. And he told me. You and had to and he goes, no, I didn't. And then Matt, and then he goes, Matt's really upset with you. And I was like, oh my God. And then I saw you later with Chris. And I, uh, yeah, I you know, talked to you. We talked. Yeah, we talked. But I, I walked. I, I, like I can tell I said, you. No, but like you said, being a man, I walked right up to you and I said, I'm so sorry. I didn't yeah. mean, I meant it as a joke. I really did. No, I felt did. bad because I rolled with it, but it, you know, it, it was more awkward for you. I yeah, think. it was terrible for me. Yeah. I felt like a fucking shumanud. Yeah. Like a total I, shumanud. I, like, 100% like a, what a don't know what that I mean, means. even in the room, I was like, yeah. that was terrible. And then yeah. later on, Longo's like, fuck you, Straka. Matt's pissed. And then I see you later. Yeah. And, yeah, we're in Miracle and Mile. And yet, somehow, I'm here. I know. I'm, I'm happy somehow we're both still relevant. I know. In this game. Crazy. Two guys under 5'6". I'm Matt Serra. You're watching MMA Noise on Louder Noise TV.